I'm George Naroyan. This is the home of Fruitful Valley. It's been the family brand for about 60 years. We actually have about 70 acres of land that we're farming, 54 of which is planted to organic peaches. Look how big those are. I know, those, those are going to be, be huge. Yeah. Since our dad passed away at the end of 2004, we were left with a farm that's older. The trees are past their peak performance. It's very important for us to make the decision to invest, knowing that we're going to have an outlet for what we're growing at prices that will allow us to make enough of a profit to, uh, to keep the farm going. We're now at a turning point to decide whether we continue in farming or we just walk away from it. Hi, Saida. Hey. Hi. Welcome Hi. to Fruitful Valley. My name is Saida. I work for Stonyfield Farm as a purchasing manager. How are you? It's so nice to I'm see you. I'm good, thanks. Nice to meet you. you. Nice to meet you. Today we're going to go visit a small family farm to see if there is a potential to get some of their peaches for our Yo Baby line. Here's a picture that shows our grandfather and grandmother with our dad. Our grandfather who emigrated to the U.S. and then later called for our grandmother to join him. We're losing the family farming tradition. And one of the important pillars in Stonyfield's mission statement is supporting organic farming, and specifically family farming. So this is a picture of our dad out in the orchard. In his early days, his biggest passion was for the cannery, but as he got older, I think he grew to love the farming more and more. This piece of land right here has uh, some of the oldest trees that we have on the whole property. There are actually some trees on here that are 50 years old. So we need to be planting fresh orchards. But again, of course, it's very important to have an outlet for the peaches. So the conversation we're having with you is very important to that. This is the variety that uh, Stonyfield will be using, the Alberta. So here's a peach, uh, it's uh, coming along nicely. We grow really old varieties of peaches that have been around since, in the case of the Alberta, the 1880s. If you're gonna give your baby peaches, you absolutely want them to be organic. In conventional peach growing, there are so many pesticides used so that you can suppress pests. I understand peach trees are one of the most sensitive to, to pests. Very sensitive Very to difficult pests. to grow in an organic manner. Organic That's farming is way. not a walk in the park. Being organic here means very specifically that we do not use organometallic pesticides, the kinds of pesticides that were developed after World War II, and have a very long half-life in terms of how quickly they disappear in the soil. It takes a lot more effort to stay on top of the kind of pest issues that do occur. Because we're not just blasting the trees with two or three different kinds of pesticides. We also don't use chemical fertilizers. Our fertilizer of choice, which is, uh, provides most of the nutrients that uh, the peaches need, we will use composted turkey manure. And so it's a natural product, which we are able to source locally. Okay, so this is all weed, it's nothing like a cover crop. Similarly, we don't use chemical control of weeds, and this land is really good for growing peaches, and it's as good for growing weeds. We use mechanical control of the weeds, which we have to do regularly through the year to keep the weeds from really taking over. Working with Stonyfield Farm is exactly the kind of relationship that we've been seeking. Knowing that we're providing really high quality fruit to them for their product and that we in return are gonna be able to have a multi-year partnership with them. When you just sell on the open market and it's totally about whatever market price might be for the broader commodity in any given year, then uh, there will be a number of years where it may not be financially viable. It's still easily eight weeks away from being ripe. I know, Maybe nine. I just can't believe in eight weeks so it's going to be uh, it'll be big and juicy. <laughs> several times that size and a nice orange color and very flavorful. It's part of the organic philosophy that 
we want to have the fruit to be as, as delicious and nutritious as possible. And you only get that by letting fruit ripen. On the tree. On the tree. This is the Alberta peach that you're going to be using. That looks yummy. They're really good. Good. We're very excited about this partnership with Stonyfield and especially that it's going into a product that's going to be eaten by babies and, and toddlers because, um, you, you know, nutrition is so critical in those early years. For us personally, it means a lot because we all have young families. Diane and I are raising children and it's important to us to be part of nutrition for other people. It is true that organic fruit does cost a bit more and it's a choice to, uh, to buy that. But what's important to know is the care that goes into the growing of it. It's great for me to see where the fruit is coming from and understanding what we are putting in our yogurt. The visit has been good and I'm hopeful that we're gonna actually get something going with George. <laughs>